Bandager was not like the other lions in the exotic animal park in Oklahoma. Bandager was a massive lion, with a powerful build and a thick mane that flowed down his back like a river of gold. But he was also afflicted with a rare and debilitating bone disease called osteoporosis. This condition made his bones weak and brittle, leaving him unable to move with the same grace and agility as his feline companions. He had always felt like an outcast, a failure among his kin. But his life took a surprising turn when he met Mela, a tiny Datshund with a big heart. Mela was part of a pack of Datshunds that lived in a neighboring enclosure. She and her siblings would often come over to the fence and observe the lion, and Bandager caught her eye. Mela was a tiny Datshund, with a long and slender body that seemed almost comically small compared to Bandager's massive frame. But what she lacked in size, she more than made up for in spunk and tenacity. At first the two animals would sit at the end of their fence and spend most of their day together. Mela would often spend hours sitting by the fence, watching Bandager as he lounged in his enclosure. And the lion, in turn, would watch the little dog with a quiet fascination, as if he couldn't quite believe that such a tiny creature could have such a big personality. However, Mela was a determined little dog, and she was not satisfied to let the fence separating her from Bandager stand in her way. She had grown so close to the lion over time that she would do anything to meet him without the fence separating them. So, one day, she started to act strangely around the park workers. She would bark and wag her tail, as if trying to communicate something to them. And when they ignored her, she would start scratching at the fence and whining. It was clear that she wanted to see Bandager, and the park workers were eventually able to decipher her message. They knew that the lion and the Datshun spent a lot of time together, and that this was a call to unite them. With the help of the park workers, Mela's determination to see Bandager was finally realized. They constructed a small opening in the fence that would allow the two animals to meet face to face. As soon as the barrier was removed, Mela darted through the opening and into Bandager's enclosure. At first, Bandager was taken aback by the sudden appearance of the tiny Datshund in his territory. He sniffed at her curiously, trying to figure out what she was doing there. But as soon as Mela started barking and wagging her tail, Bandager's demeanor changed. He realized that this was his friend, the little dog who had been watching him through the fence for so many months. The two animals circled each other warily for a few moments, as if trying to remember how to interact without the barrier between them. But soon enough, they started to play. With Mela darting around Bandager's paws and the lion chasing after her with a gentle grace that belied his massive size. Their first meeting was a moment of pure joy, both for the animals themselves and for the park workers who had made it possible. And as the two creatures played and nuzzled and licked each other, Mela darted around Bandager's paws, barking and yapping and generally making a nuisance of herself. And to everyone's surprise, Bandager didn't seem to mind. He simply watched the little dog with a bemused expression, as if he couldn't quite believe what he was seeing. Over time, Mela and Bandager's friendship grew stronger, and even as Bandager's condition worsened over the years, Mela remained a constant source of comfort and support for him. He had never felt such warmth and affection from another living being. Mela, in turn, saw Bandager not as a lion, but as a gentle giant, a big puppy she could cuddle with and lick. The two unlikely friends quickly became inseparable. They would spend hours playing and napping together, with Mela snuggled up against Bandager's massive chest. And as they grew older, Mela became more than just a friend to Bandager. She became his nurse, his confidante, and his protector. One day, while park worker John Rian Key was observing the pair, he noticed something strange. Mela was gnawing at Bandager's teeth, cleaning them with the same diligence and care she would her own. It was an astonishing sight, and Rian Key couldn't believe what he was seeing. But Bandager didn't seem to mind. In fact, he was grateful for Mela's help and would repay her by grooming her soft fur with his sandpaper tongue. The friendship between Bandager and Mela soon became legendary in the park. Visitors would come from far and wide just to catch a glimpse of the gentle giant and his tiny companion, and the park administration soon realized that they had a hit on their hands. They started putting up signs advertising the lion and the Datshund as a must-see attraction. And soon enough, the crowds were flocking to their enclosure. But as popular as they were, Bandager and Mela's friendship was not without its challenges. The park administration, concerned about the safety of the small dog, decided to separate her from the lion and her siblings. They were moved to a different enclosure, far from Bandager's reach. The news devastated the lion. He stopped eating, stopped playing, and spent all his time lying in his house, pining for his beloved friend. The park workers were at a loss as to what to do. 
They knew they couldn't let the Datsuns back into the lion's enclosure, but they couldn't bear to see Bandager suffer so much either. Then one day, Mela's sister managed to dig a hole under the fence separating their enclosures. She wriggled through and ran straight to Bandager's house, where she barked and yipped until the lion emerged from his stupor. When he saw his friend's sister, he roared with joy and excitement and the two played together as if no time had passed at all. The park workers were astonished by what they saw. They couldn't believe that a tiny dog could have such an impact on a massive lion. But they also knew that they couldn't keep the Datsuns away from Bandager any longer. So they made the decision to reunite the two friends, and to keep a close eye on them to ensure their safety. From that day on, Bandager and the Datsuns were never apart. They played, cuddled, and groomed each other as they had always done and the visitors to the park were thrilled to see them together once again, with many taking pictures and videos of the unlikely friends. Their first meeting marked the beginning of an unlikely and enduring friendship that would capture the hearts of people all over the world. Mela and Bandager had overcome their differences in size and species to form a bond that was unbreakable. Their story is a testament to the power of love and friendship, and a reminder that sometimes the most unexpected connections can bring the greatest joy. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our channel for more heartwarming stories like this one. See you in the next one.